Hi you guys, back with uh, part 2, the first impression video for Dancing All Night. Let's crack on. That night, Rize, Naoto, Naoto, sorry, and I were still spending our time on dance practice at Takura Production Studio. Ooh, that beat. Intense. I didn't envision it to be this tough. It's all worked out in my head, but... Well, there's your problem. You're thinking too much. You stiffen up like that. Some skill is necessary, of course, and you have to factor in the choreography, too. But once you have that, all you need to do is show how you feel by moving with the music. Uh. Is that how it works? You, Senpai, what do you think about when you dance? Mm, I don't around. think of anything, really. I'm just having fun. And the exposure's really off. That's how it should be! Dancing isn't just about moving to the rhythm. It's expressing yourself and your feelings to the people watching you. If you're trying to get across the message that this is fun, then us dancers need to be having more fun than anyone. Well, if you're not, why, expressing why one's it? feelings, huh? That makes a kind of sense now that you explain it. In ancient times... Dancing was a form of culture developed as a means of expressing one's faith and ideals without words. Uh, so then, it's not a matter of being good or bad at it. I must instead learn how to express myself without fear. Ah, uh, didn't need a history lesson though. Come on, Naoto-kun! You're still overthinking it! Exactly. It's like what Chie Senpai always says. Don't think, feel. feel. In your case, you just gotta loosen up and enjoy yourself. Don't worry if you do a move wrong. Okay, let's try it from the top one more time. Already? Can't we please, uh, take a short break? These days still raring to go, but it's clear to see that Naoto's legs are shaky and she sounded flustered. A quick break might help. As I'm deciding how I can help the situation, my cell that I'd set off to the side begins to ring in loudly and vibrating. That's just rude, man. Call cool ID shows the name Yosuke Hanamura. Yosuke is the rescue. <laughs> it's Yosuke. I need to step out for a bit to take this. Hmm. Okay, then we'll start right after you come back. Oh, I'm saved. <laughs> Yosuke saves the day. Hello? Yosuke? Yo, partner. Are you okay to talk right now? Hi. Yeah, it's fine. Good. At the sound of a familiar voice on the line, I can't help but smile in relief. My partner in Inaba keeps talking in his usually usual careless, uh, carefree tone. Dude, we saw the commercial. We all gathered around the TV at Juness when it was on. Man, seeing that stuff got us all pumped up. Are we all celebrities now? Maybe I should start working on my autograph. Hmm, that might be a good idea. Anyway, we're heading over there tomorrow. We leave first thing in the morning, so I'm sure we'll get there before noon. <laughs> Just wait until you see where all our training has gotten us. I look forward to it. Even at our first practice, Yosuke surprised us all with his naturally deft moves. The video that Rize has been recording only proves he's been getting better and better. It's been a while since then, so I'm sure he'll show us a dance as amazing as he says. Lost in thought, I pick up on what sounds like arguing on the other side of the call. It's already starting. I can easily picture what's happening on their end, and I end up smiling despite myself. What the dude? Teddy, hold your horses. You'll get your turn, so... Hello, is this Sensei? I'm doing very well. Oh yeah? I'm glad to hear that. Teddy is a resident of the TV world that we met through the case when we saw. Still, he's, an, he's, a, he's as important as a friend as the rest of us. Right now, he lives at Yosuke's. Normally, he wears his trademark bear fur, and the local kids know him as the mascot of the department store Juness. 
However, judging by the tone of his voice, he must be taking his inner form as a young man right now. Sounds like he grabbed Yosuke's cell away from them. He might end up regretting that. I bet it must be lonely without me there, but don't you worry about that. I'll be coming with the others tomorrow to get married to you, Sensei. Whoa, what? That should be interesting. Nana-chan and Pops are coming too, of course. Hmm, let's see, what other news is there? When did I agree to this? Huh? Ah! Yosuke, please save me, help. On the other end, it sounds like Teddy turned around and a melodramatic scream rings out. I shift the phone a little farther from my ear, business as usual. My guess is that Yosuke just got back up and saw Teddy with the swipe phone. I know them well enough to work out what will happen next. Damn it, Teddy, I was still talking to him. No, Yosuke, violence isn't the answer. Sounds like you two are still getting along. <laughs> what gave you that idea? Anyway, that's the gist of it. We're coming tomorrow. Tell Risa and Naoto we said hi. See right. ya. See you tomorrow. Huh? Are you done with the studio, Yukun? Let's see if I can fix this exposure. Two six. Okay. Seems to have fixed it now. Let's crack on. I turn at the familiar voice and see you know our son standing there with a can of coffee in his hand. It seems pretty late already though. Being the manager of a teen idol must be pretty must be a pretty demanding job. No, not yet. I was just taking a call. Ah, I see. By the way, I'm sorry about the commotion this afternoon. Is Risei Chan still with you? Uh. Yes, she's helping us rehearse. That reminds me, I don't think I've thanked you yet. I'm still surprised that you agreed to perform. Would you like some coffee? Mm. I graciously accept the coffee and answer Inoue's son's smile with one of my own. I agreed to perform. Inoue son's, still probably butchering that, most likely referring to the backup dancing at LMB. Thank you. We were surprised too. I never thought we'd be asked to perform with Risei in her comeback show. Risei John insisted on it as soon as her spot at the festival was decided. As close as you all are to her, you're still just ordinary folks. To be honest, I was against it at first, but seeing you rehearse convinced me. I knew then this would be a great show. Time is money, and if you go to train performers and whatnot, so, well, as I is said, so? time is money. <laughs> I've been working in this industry for quite a while now, you know. I've developed a sixth sense as a manager. There's no question that Risei John changed after getting to know you all. She always had something special that shined from within, but I feel like that's been polished to an even brighter gleam. When Risei John's with you, she seems to glow even more than usual. Is that so? That's why I decided to place my bets on all of you. Give you a place on the reborn Risei Kujikawa's big debut. <laughs> what do you call it? We'll do our best. Naturally. <laughs> I hope I'm not just putting more pressure on by telling you this. You think? I'm serious though. There's no need to worry. Uh. We're professionals. If you and your friends give a hundred percent, then we'll amplify that energy and put on a hell of a show for the audience. As your friend's manager, I'll give you all the support I can as well. You know, my sons usually seems like a fairly stoic person, but when he talks about Rize, his face really lights up. I guess even a competitive showbiz professional, Rize has that much charm. I'm filled with sudden pride and relief from both his praise of Rize and his confidence in us. I can only reply with a grateful nod. Thank you. Oh, I forgot I was in a hurry. I'll talk to the management, so go ahead and keep using the studio. Oh. Make sure you're not up too late, though. I understand. By the way, what's your hurry? Oh, it's probably nothing. Although, you haven't seen the Kanamin Kitchen Girls, have you? Mm -hmm. Or someone that looked like them, maybe? Ooh, no, I haven't seen them. The only time I did was when you were introducing us. That's all right, then. I'm sorry if I said anything to worry you. You lost them? Well, I should head to a meeting now, so I'll see you later. What kind of manager are you? Losing your idols. <laughs> I recall the four idols I met this afternoon as I considered the situation. They might not be Rize's level, but they're big names for Takura Productions. It seems odd that Inoue-san, a manager, would ask me for their whereabouts. He looks somewhat flustered as well. 
There's something that happened. As I puzzle over it, someone bolts in front of me and trips flailing wildly. Dunk. Oh! Ouch. Face plant. Oh. Ow. Seeing her skid across the wax floor of the hallway like a baseball player sliding home catches me a bit by surprise. Ooh. Hmm. After an extreme fall like that, she might not be up to talking. I'm digible, Desi. Are you alright? Face first. Yep. That really hurt. Yeah, it looked like Oh, it someone saw me! Mm. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's nothing. I'm fine. I'll leave. Quietly, calmly, and right away. You are doing none of those and things. With that, um, man, she wasn't kidding. G O N E gone. The girl babbles on and on before she zooms off at full speed, like a clumsy tornado. What was that all about? She took quite a fall. Did she hurt herself? Actually, I guess I've been off the phone with Yosuke for quite a while now. If I made the others wait any longer, Rize will probably get impatient and get Naoto up and practicing again. If that happened, Naoto would definitely hold a grudge against me. It's probably best if I hurried back to the studio. Having reached a conclusion, I quickly head back with the coffee in hand to where Rize and Naoto are waiting. Ooh, that looked like it hurt, man. Hey, there you are, senpai! She looks happy to see Welcome you. Welcome back. Thank Here you. it is, the pre-LMB report. Wow, somebody's already uploaded the vid. When I get back, I find Rize and Naoto in the conversation while looking at their cell phones. Rize beckons me over and I siddle behind them. Looks like they were looking at the websites affiliated with the LMB festival. I look at the phone screen as well and see it reported with the four members of Kanamin Kitchen we met this afternoon. Oh, so sure enough, they it's the girls we met earlier. Oh, is it? Oh, it might not be live, actually. Can you it? We're live with the members oh, of Kanamine Kitchen. Any comments for your fans? Yes. Well, then, I'm Tomoe Sayama, your soft lamb. Ooh. I may be a bit gamey, but one bite and you'll be hooked. Well, I've got a feeling that's true. Come to Love Meets Bonds, and I'll see to it you have the time of your life. <laughs> Hmm. Where do we sign up? Where do we get a ticket? I'm Tamami uh, Wasagi, your fluffy hen and delicious to the bone. I'm balls. always number one, and so's my soup stock. Okay. I'm in this thing, so you better come see me. If you don't, I'll never speak to you again. Hmm. That's awfully tempting. But I like the sound of that first girl, so let's see the rest I'm of them. I'm Ujima, everyone's piglet. Huh? I'm a pudgy ball of fun who rolls around all day, every day. <laughs> Yay! Come play, everyone. If you don't spend time with me, I'm gonna cry. Oh, I am Nozomi Nakahara, your noble stag. As powerful as I am beautiful, my gallantry will sweep you off your feet. I look forward to an amazing night spent together. This Love Meets Bonds Festival will be a special day for ourselves and you. They did not do the advertisement justice there. That first girl makes you want to come, but pardon the pun. <laughs> Try and keep it clean. The rest of them just make you want to run for the hills. I see. It's an interview with the members of Canamine Kitchen since they're performing at LMB. In any case, that had quite an impact. Should we think of greeting like this too? My gaze drifts while I'm lost in thoughts, and now Tom mutters, sounding a bit overwhelmed. Those are some unusual taglines. A lamb, hen, piglet, and stag? Yeah. I suppose it's unique, but... Well, their whole shtick as an idol group is that they're all edible meats. What? Edible meats? The, they're up for consumption? Yeah, I wouldn't jump to that conclusion. <laughs> yeah. There's so many idols nowadays, you won't survive if you don't stand out from the crowd. Though that's not the only thing they have going for them. 
Huh? The battle between the corrupt, impossibly demanding producer and the poor, hardworking idols. That's another this? angle they're taking that's got them a lot of their current popularity. A corrupt producer? Is that a common problem in the world of showbiz? Oh no, it's mm. not actually like that. That's just another strategy to get them over with the public. Then again, knowing her, I have to wonder if there isn't some truth to it. it is that so? It's the same one who's the overall producer of LMB. It just goes to show that it takes all kinds in this business. Uh, from Rize's description, it sounds like there's a lot of strategies like this in the showbiz world. Interesting. The reporter on screen moves towards an even more flamboyant girl standing behind the other four members. This is probably Kanan... Kanan... Kananame? Whatever well name is. then, let's finish up with a word to Kaname. the fans from Kanami-san! Oh, of course! Um, is around here okay? I've seen her on TV before. That's Kanami Mashita. She's the lead member of Kanamin Kitchen. While I was on break, they started calling her the next Rosette. It's frustrating, but she's definitely hot right now. Even with my comeback, I keep wondering if I can come out on top anymore. Wait a sec. Okay, she's definitely had a boob job. Oh, okay, a uh, bit left field, but... Hello, I'm Kanami Mashita, your prize cow. My meat is marbled, my movement is slow, and I sleep off every meal. Oh, she's on a bit breast. Uh, okay. Kind of funny, really. I'm trying to have a look. There you go. <laughs> hey, you gotta have some fun. Everyone, join me in wishing that the weather will be bright and sunny on the day of the festival. It's yeah. been hot lately, and we all get sweaty in the sun. So make sure you bathe and brush your teeth while you're at it. Are right, they expecting to fringe us or something at this festival as well? Thank you, Kanamine. And I take it you all have some closing remarks? Oh, let's see what Ellie can screw this up. Of course! Well then, everyone, on the day of LMB, our meat will be extra delicious. So... Enjoy every last bite! Just That's weird. all for our pre-Love Meets Bonds Festival report. What the hell? <laughs> Oh dear. Konami-san wasn't with the group when we saw them this afternoon. The brain cells that you let me die while you're watching them. Noe-san mentioned she was doing PR for her solo photo book. To be honest, Konami sells much more than the other four. I mean, the group's named after her. I've been feeling this way since filming the TV commercial, but... All those appearing on stage for this event will be industry professionals, no? Maybe amateurs like us shouldn't participate in this after all. There you go with that again. Don't worry about it. Now we've when got it comes juice. to outsized personalities, we're a match for Konami's group. Hmm. I'm not so sure that's something to be proud of. Me neither. <laughs> uh, I said you'll be fine. No, not really. Not when they're, uh, like that. Anyway, it's getting late. Why don't we get in one last run through before calling it a night? Uh... It's that late already? Yosuke Senpai and the others will be here tomorrow. We'll want to be as ready as we can for the joint rehearsal. Now, that mm. being said, I'm utterly spent. Please, let me sit out on this one. What? Seriously? Okay, then go ahead and kick back now, Tokun. What? You traitor. You've still got some juice left, though, right, you Senpai? Uh, 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 okay. Sure, I can keep going. That's what I'm talking about. Give this last one everything you got. All right, you senpai. Let me know when you're ready to start. Eh, uh, huh, oh, for the sake of the video, really. Let's get it started now. Hello? The Hello, universe. everyone! Professor Teddy here! While Sensei and the others are learning their steps, we ought to try some dancing, too! Let's start with the basics. Press the buttons to match your timing with the flying notes. You get the idea? All right, your turn now. See Feel the rhythm and press those buttons. Like this, let's see how we go. I don't know saying too but you know. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, time for lesson two. Sometimes Hello, you'll see buddy. rings that look like this. Those are scratches. For these, you just flick the left to right analog stick. Even if you mess these ones up, it doesn't count as a mistake, so don't stress out over them. Huh. 
When the ring overlaps with the outer circle, just move the stick in any direction. Wait a sec, that last one looked kind of funky, right? This is called a favor ring. They're pretty much like scratches. But if you get enough of them right, your dance is gonna go into fever time. All kinds of good stuff happens in fever time, Still so get it can. whenever you can. Now, last up is how to clear the stage and win. This hype gauge here tells you how much the audience is enjoying the show. Depending on how good your dancing is, it'll change like this. If the audience's excitement gets too low, then that's it. Show's over. And even if you dance to the end, you'll only win if the audience had a good time. Psst, one more thing. If you get fever time when the audience is hyped up, something very good might happen. Alrighty, now let's bring it home. Bust a move. Yes. You got the hang of it, and that's it for tonight's lesson. Till next time, everybody! <sighs> I let the adrenaline from the dance fade, then take a deep breath to calm my pulse. Today's practice tired me out, but it looks like I managed to dance through it. I don't want to sound pretentious or anything, but I think I've been moving a little more smoothly lately. In the beginning, all I could hope for was just just let just get through the steps. Kind of strange when I'm getting used to this. When it's used to when it's used to be such an Good ordeal. Good job! We haven't been practicing long, and you've improved so much already. Oh, that was amazing to watch, Senpai. I must improve my own performance to match. At Rize and Nanta's praise, I smile in return and take a moment to tell off. That's when I hear a slow clapping from the room's entrance. We all glance over. Miss Ochimizu! Right, guys, I'm going to call it there once again. So, um, I'll be back with a third episode of this first impression. I'm trying to establish the story at the moment, but it's, uh, I do understand that it does take a bit to get going, so I'll be back with another episode uh, very soon. So, see you guys in the next first impressions episode. It's taking a while.